She goes her own way, like I don't give a damn, girl. And my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014. this year. And I think that she <laughs> Riley, hey. Hey, you started without me. Yeah, I have VIP privileges here. Ooh, donuts. I got your favorite. Rainbow sprinkles. Where is it? Well, you didn't let me finish. I sort of ate it. Hey, it's a long walk from the donut place. The donut place in the lobby? That's the one. Megan! Donut. Ooh, any rainbow sprinkles? Yeah, they were out. Aw, oh, man. Hey, look! I found our first day of school outfits. <gasps> Fancy! Yeah, and when we wear it, we have to look like models. Wait, does that mean Dr. Kingston's cleared you to go back to school? I'm going to start junior year on Monday just like everyone else. I don't want anyone at school to know. I'd hate it if they treated me weird. <gasps> Especially Lindsay Harris. Can you imagine if she knew that I'm sick? Oh, yeah, you guys might actually start being nice to each other. That'd be horrible. Okay, but when exactly is the doctor going to let you know that you're clear? I mean, did he ever have a first day of junior year? Doesn't he know what this means to us? Riley, can you sit down, please? You're making me nervous around my IV. Wait, seriously? But I am- I am so cur- Maybe I will sit. Oh, and he's calling my mom today at 3. What? Wait, why, why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you'd go all Riley. Go all Riley. <laughs> I'm just saying, why call at 3? You know, if he knows, he knows. I mean, why not 1? Why not 2? Why not- Oh, yeah, this is going all right. Are you kidding me? No, oh, no, what did you do? <laughs> Something fun! Oh, wait, she's coming. You two. Of course. Who put dye in the soap dispenser? I don't know who did it, but the bottle says that it comes off with vinegar. <sighs> Lexi, there are so many reasons why I'm glad your treatments are nearly over. <laughs> this is the story of how I beat cancer. When it all started, my doctor told me to write down all the things I'm grateful for to help me stay positive. That first day, it was for donuts. My family and my best friend. For always being by my side. I've been grateful for Riley a lot, but this time I'm super grateful for her. You'll see. I have walked alone with the stars in Okay, it's time. Everyone, get out your school schedules. On the count of three, say what lunch group you're in. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> group A. Group A! Ellie? I'm... I'm afraid to look. Group A! Oh, thank goodness. I do not think I can eat lunch around strangers. First day of junior year. We should do something crazy. Like, let's... Let's dye the tips of our hair the school colors. Love yes. that. Okay, I don't know what part of school I'm most excited about. Going out for basketball. Pet rallies. Dances. Cookies. Ryan, did you eat all the samples? What samples? I'm weak without food. You do that? When you brought me here. Why is Ryan with you? Oh, I'm babysitting him. Ugh, Lindsay's here. <laughs> uh.
Hello, Lexi. Hello, Lindsay. Uh, long time no see. Not long enough. So sorry you didn't make the basketball team. What? School hasn't even started yet. And now I'm in your head. Well, I'm in your head, and there's an echo because there's nothing else in here with me. Uh, that's because everything left when you walked in. Maybe I'll redecorate while I'm in here. Don't you dare. Too late. It's done. Ugh, this place isn't fun anymore. It will be when you leave. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, we've got to go. It's almost three. Oh, what's that three? Uh, piano, piano rescue. lesson. Piano Cat lesson. rescue. Yeah, we are volunteering to uh, teach piano to rescue cats. It calms them. Wait, Riley. What if the doctor doesn't clear me for school? Hey, he will. But, uh... Just in case. Fingers crossed. Way ahead of you. <laughs> hey guys! Where are you going? You forgot me! Quick, take your shoes off. My mom will be home any second. It has to look like we've been here for hours. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, honey. I'm so sorry I couldn't get out of work. I hate missing your chemo. How did it go? It was fine. I I came straight home, took a nap. Here I am. You came straight home? Yes, Mom. We had an agreement. How can you even ask? Is that your coffee? Yeah, from yesterday. And yet, it's still warm. Uh, climate change? Hi, Riley. Oh, we hung out at the coffee shop. Hey, there is so much tension in the air. Lexi, you know you're not supposed to get tired. I'm not even a little tired, Mom. Did Dr. Kingston call? Not yet. But we're going to talk about this nap thing when Riley's not around to hear me yell. Oh, no, we can hear you pretty good from next door. Hey, Lex. Oh, gross. You're sweaty. Yeah, I stink, too. Want a whiff? <laughs> not the hair. You know, not the hair. Hey, Riley. Great, thanks. <laughs> oh, you didn't ask, but I am great. I mean... Yeah, not to brag. Just, just, just saying. Okay. Seriously? Lucas? What? Gross. You've known each other since you were five. Now suddenly it's all great, thanks. I, I, I don't know what you talked about. We're out of milk. Oh no, milk is really important. Uh, uh, water's also good. It's poofy in the back. Huh? Where? Mm. Where? No, it's good. <clears throat> it's good. Hey, Lexi, look at this. You got a note from the principal. He says he's aware of your situation and that we can count on him for any help or support we need. This is pretty cool. Mom, you've clearly lost touch with what cool means because it's not being besties with your principal. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, Principal Hackett is horrible. I got detention for a week just for skipping homeroom. <laughs> no one can stand him. We call him Grumpy Bucket in my year. <laughs> uh, that is awful. Oh, yeah. Oh, juvenile. <laughs> we used to call him the same thing. Well, not your father. He loved your dad. He was such a suck up. If he didn't have that Mustang, I would have never uh, uh, driven home with him in that Mustang. Let's get back to you skipping class, mister. Oh, uh, I'd love to, Mom. But that sounds important. Dr. Kingston! 
Ugh, bad. Oh, tell him we need... Ignore. Milk. Dr. Kingston, mom, answer, answer, answer! Hello, Dr. Kingston. Oh, that's wonderful, yes! No, no, of course not. No, I totally Mom, understand. Mom, you're killing me, yes or no? Oh, sorry, Doctor. Yes. Yeah! Yes! Yes, yes! Yeah, that's right. Starting junior year. Starting Monday. Hey! Oh my gosh, that's in three days. Oh my gosh, that's in three days! What are we gonna wear? What are we gonna say? You work on your breathing, I'll work on our outfits. Come on. Hey, I've been calling from the driveway. I need help. I've got you, Dad. Always there for me, son. I have nothing to wear. I have my dress. Hey, so, good news about school, right? Yeah, I'm excited. What's that? Uh, just some notes from your doctor. What notes? Let's just remember that we've just heard some really good news. Yeah, great. What notes? Come right home when school ends, no extracurricular activities? It's just a few precautions. No physical activities? Mom, that means no basketball! Well, you could be the team manager. You know, do the roster, manager stuff. Listen, not every kid gets cleared by their doctor to go back to school this early. You're lucky. Lucky? That means no sports, dances, or plays? All that leaves is going to class like the worst part of school. That is a terrible attitude, young lady. Sorry, that was my mother talking. <sighs> Honey, I know it sucks, but it's just for right now. You're getting better, and we don't want to risk that. I know. I just thought that once school started, things would go back to normal. And they're on their way. Before you know it, you're going to be lying to me about skipping homework instead of skipping naps. Gosh, I hope so. So, we're starting junior year together. Let's celebrate. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do something our moms will hate. I was thinking more of an ice cream cone. Oh, <clears throat> with dangerous toppings. <laughs> I feel like such a bad girl. But now, I have to figure out a way to hide this from my mom. <sighs> All right. Cleared by the doctor, colored hair. Hmm. Now all that's left is to buy some new clothes and take Lindsay down, and I'm officially ready to start junior year. Are you seriously going to keep this stupid feud going? What choice do I have? Am I meant to let her win? It's an endless revenge cycle. Do you really think anyone's ever going to win? Yeah, me. Let's FaceTime Ellie and Brianna and show them our new hair. Hmm, good idea. Riley, wait. Uh, let's just surprise them when we see them. Okay. Oh, um, oh, that's my mom. Okay, I'll call you later. Come on! Come on! Where are you? Are you seriously gonna touch every cookie? Why does every cookie only have a single chocolate chip? 
I'm going next door to Lexi's. They've got Milano's. Ooh, bring me back one. Oh, and get yourself something nice for your lunch tomorrow. So, how is Lexi feeling about school starting? Mm, she's ready. Junior year is a really big change, and she's already going through so much. Mom, I'd know if she was worried, okay? Lexi and I can practically read each other's minds. Mm, like right now, that's her texting. Wow, <laughs> you're right. I can even tell you what it says. Don't watch Project One Way without me. Close. It says, meet me outside when you know your mom's asleep. Oh, and I'm obviously going to tell her, sorry, I'll be asleep myself then. This is probably what they call a teachable moment, but <sighs> I'm going to go take a bath. What took so long? <sighs> Don't you mean thanks for meeting me when you're supposed to be in bed even though I know you hate doing things that could get you in trouble? <sighs> okay, I need you to go grab the darkest clothes you have and as many rolls of toilet paper as possible. <sighs> Good night. Riley, wait! It's important! I need to toilet paper Lindsay's house. Ah, oh, sounds like fun! Good night. Riley, come on! Do you seriously ever want to look back at your junior year and know that you never TP to house? I do. I really do. What's going on with you, Lexi? You're kind of losing your mind. I really need this right now. It's it's a good distraction from everything else. Please. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll do it. This is going to be fun! Ryan, go to bed and keep this to yourself. What if I go with you and keep it to myself? What if I don't strangle you and you keep it to yourself? Mom said you're not allowed to strangle me anymore. All right, all right, let's just do it. I'll go get the toilet paper! Shh! I'll go get the toilet paper! <sighs> Are we really doing this? Nice arm, Ryan. Thanks! Oh, we're doing this. <sighs> hey, are you all right? You know I hate that question. And as my best friend, you have to not ask me that ever again. And as my best friend, you have to not do things that wear you out. <sighs> okay, I'll sit here for a minute until I feel... Better? No. Inspired. Now go to the bushes. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. Wait, is that my ski cap? Oh my gosh, I'll give it back. Now will you focus? Lexi, this is not Lindsay's house. Really? It says, hack it. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh no. Oh gosh, this is our principal's house. This is the best night of my life! Ryan, Ryan, we've got to go. Lex, Lex, leave it. I'm almost done. We have to go right now. What do you two think you're doing? I'm calling both of your parents. This will not end well. I just hope Principal Hackett doesn't remember me. I was always such a model student. I'd hate to let this him This is about down. Lexi, Mark. Yeah, yeah, right. Of course. I just don't understand what made you do something like that, Lexi. And with Ryan. First you forget him at the coffee shop, and now this. This is not like you, Riley. I'm so sorry that Lexi dragged Riley into this, Kate. No, no, Amanda. I don't feel that way at all. Riley made the decision to go with her, not Lexi. Look, we can deal with the girls ourselves, but we need to be a team in front of Hackett. We don't want them both starting school with a bad reputation. All right. Please, come in. Mark? Oh, hey, Principal Hackett. One of the perpetrators is yours? In my defense, I am not around that much. I'm a, a pilot, so really, it's uh, Captain Mark. We should go in now. Roger that.
suspended for three days? That's so unfair. Well, it was one day, but then your mother jumped in. Long story short, you got three days and mom's banned it's from school so for It's so unfair. You kicked his trash can. I slipped. Twice? This can't be happening. We're never going to have a first day of junior year. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't Riley and I go to Crawford High instead? That's across town. We don't know anyone and there. they're our rivals. Gosh. Oh, I know. Mom, you could homeschool Riley and me. You mean we wouldn't even go to school? That's crazy. Yeah, but we can learn in our pajamas. Lexi, we've been wanting to start junior year since fourth grade. Dad, want to homeschool us? Oh, sweetheart, you know I love you, but I really don't. Lexi, what's going on? Hold on. Did you know that was the principal's house? How would I know where my principal lives? By having his address in your pocket? Wait, so you lied to me about Lindsay? You wanted us to get into trouble. Why would you do that to me? <sighs> Hey, Lexi. Oh, it's you. You were hoping it was the person you just told to go away? Amanda brought your ski cap back. She said Lexi was really upset. Hmm, good. She should be. Why don't you go talk to her? No way! She should be coming to me. She lied to me, Mom. Alright. I'm sorry, honey. Lexi. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Lex, I saw a lot of your hair in my ski cap. Like, a lot. Oh. Okay. But, why are you so mad? I'm the one who's losing my hair. I'm your best friend. I mean, you could have told me what was going on. Like, I would care if you had hair or not. Alright. I just don't want my stupid hair to fall out. And all of a sudden it is. Just as school is starting. I don't want to go to school like this. But I don't want to not go to school without you. That's sweet. And awful. It's... swaffle. I'm sorry. And as much as I hate losing my hair, it's more about... Everyone knowing. But hey, so what if they know? Because then I'm the sick girl. I just want things to be how they were before cancer. I I want to go out for basketball and not keep things from my friends and take Lindsay down. But now when school starts again, instead of seeing me, everybody's going to see cancer. Everybody's going to know me as the sick girl. I'm so much more than that. Hey, they will figure it out, okay? You do something crazy and really dumb, and they will all see you for exactly who you are. Yeah, it's just, sometimes it really, really sucks, and when my hair started coming out, I, I panicked, and I took you down with me. I'm sorry. I, I have an idea. You think I should just shave it off? Then everyone will definitely notice. Lexi, as long as you're my best friend, you are never going through anything alone. Riley... Cancer can't change who you are unless you let it. How do I look? <laughs> really, really bad. How do you feel? <laughs> Ridiculous. Hey, if you promise to keep things from me, I promise I will personally take Lindsay down for you. Oh, that's a deal. <laughs> the older I get, the more I realize there are certain times in your life that you really need a friend. But sometimes, you get something even better. You get a Riley. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me